Okay, I have not been to Sakrakur yet, but I have to say, this is unreal. This is a view from Tour Montparnasse, um, which is the tallest building in Paris proper. And in proper Parisian style, the minute that uh, it was built, it was deemed that nothing this tall could ever be built again in the city because it's too much of bringing Manhattan to Paris, I think was the phrase used in Le Monde. That's uh, Hotel d'Invalide, where the tomb of Napoleon is. I'm gonna try and hit that this afternoon. Let's see if we can, uh, you can see, I want you to see just how many people are in line there at the tower. And that's exactly how it was last night too. Just wrapped around lines, although it's probably longer now. It makes me feel a little better that I did it last night. Let's continue our tour here. Here's some old people. Some more old people. We're gonna move past them. Let's see if I can give you another view. Okay, there's Sacre Coeur in the distance. That's where I'm headed this afternoon. Let's see if I can get a good zoom in on it. No, I'm zooming in on the Louvre. That's the Louvre and the Tuileries. Okay. Alright, see that grass patch? We're gonna go in slowly. 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 Okay, can you all see it? There it is. It's on Mount. Highest spot. Land spot. Not in Paris. Obviously this, this spot's a little higher, but that's because they cheated and they built it. Um, let's see. If we go over to the other side, you can see Le Jardin de Luxembourg. Notre Dame, all that good stuff. So let's, let's head over that way. Okay, uh, let's see if I can keep this straight. If you look at this church that's being restored here, the bell tower on the left, that's some Sulpice. Um, I was gonna say beautiful historic church, but I know that that's just redundant. In, in Paris and in most European cities, I think that's a fairly dumb thing to say. Uh, okay, um, it's this building with the white top here, uh, old railway station, now known as Musée d'Orsay. There's a ton of Impressionist work for those of you who care for Impressionism. Behind it, across the river, uh, is Le Tuileries, the former gardens of um, the royal family. And of course, the largest museum in the world is right next to that, and that's uh, I think if you look from end to end, as far as the lens can see right now, that's the Louvre. Um, okay, that beautiful patch of grass, probably just from judging it from here, it's probably one quarter or less the size of Central Park. I mean, maybe even smaller than that, maybe like one eighth the size of Central Park, just to give you some perspective, let me zoom back a bit. So you can see, I mean, it's not a very large park, but it is beautiful. Uh, Le Jardin de Luxembourg, but you can see it's not very crowded, and I think mostly tourists. Um, what else? Let's head over here. Ooh, okay. This is uh, Le Cimetière uh, Montparnasse, which I know this sounds probably very sacrilegious to say, but from up here, if you don't realize it at first, it looks kind of like a parking lot. Um, I guess in a way it is sort of a parking lot, an eternal parking lot. Um, but there it is. Quietly beautiful right in the middle of the city, and I think, and I've said this before, um, I don't think graveyard, graveyard should be far off away in the suburbs. I think graves should be in the city reminding us that Death is always with us. It's not not something for other people. It's something that everyone is going to have to do, regardless of their beliefs or thoughts about the end of life. You're going to have to do it. Okay. 
We'll take I'll take one more perspective. And then I'll uh, I'll shut you down until we go to Mill Mount. to ourselves here today. There isn't really anybody around. Hmm. Well, you can see the uh, the rail lines coming in. This is for people who uh, realize there's more to life than having your own automobile. Suburbs, not suburbs really, but it looks like a lot of residents. 